So, here we are with a question on sum of periodic signals and we have to check whether the resultant signal is periodic or not. So, we have here we have been asked to check whether the given signal x t equals to sin 10 pi t plus cos 20 pi t is periodic or not and if it is periodic what is the value of the fundamental period of the resultant signal. So, here x t is let us say equal to x 1 t plus x 2 t x 1 t is equal to sin 10 pi t. So, if we compare it with a sin omega t the basic format sin omega 1 t here omega 1 is equal to 10 pi 2 pi f 1 equals to 10 pi that implies f 1 is equal to 2 sorry sorry f 1 is equal to sorry 5 sorry by mistake error f 1 is equal to 5 t 1 is equal to 1 by 5 seconds ok this is the time period of the first signal then we have x 2 t is equal to cos 20 pi t. So, if we compare it with let us say b cos omega 2 t the general format here omega 2 is equal to 20 pi that implies 2 pi f 2 is equal to 20 pi that implies f 2 is equal to 10 that implies t 2 is equal to 1 by 10 seconds. So, here t 1 is 1 by 5 seconds t 2 is 1 by 10 seconds. Now, if you remember for two signals to be periodic the ratio of their time periods ok the ratio of their time periods it should be a rational number that is the first condition and the most important condition here t 1 by t 2 is equal to 1 by 5 divided by 1 by 10 which is equal to how much 2 ok. So, this is the rational number. So, the given signal x t which is equal to x 1 t plus x 2 t where x 1 t is sin 10 pi t x 2 t is cos 20 pi t it is periodic because the ratio of the individual time periods it is a rational number and the resultant time period of the resultant signal is equal to t 1 or it is equal to 2 t 2 which is equal to this much ok 1 by 5 1 by 5 seconds that is the resultant time period. So, if you remember uh, we expressed that if ratio of the two time periods is in the form of let us say p by q ok the rational number then the resultant time period can be expressed as through cross multiplication q t 1 or p t 2 whichever way you want to write it it is correct so, that is equal to 1 by 5 seconds ok this one. So, here we have uh, you know discussed this sum of signals and checked its periodicity and we found that it is periodic and the resultant time period the time period of the combined signal the sum of the two signals that is equal to 1 by 5 seconds.
So here is another question on sum of signals and we have to check whether the resultant signal is periodic and uh, or not and if it is periodic we have to find out its fundamental period. So here the signal is given by xt is equal to sin 10t plus 1 minus 2 cos 5t minus 2 which is x1t minus x2t in this form it is ok so here x1t is equal to sin 10t plus 1 if we compare it with the format a sin omega 1 t plus phi 1 here we are not interested with the phase we are only interested with the angular frequency omega 1 is equal to 10 that implies 2 pi f 1 is equal to 10 that implies f 1 is equal to 10 by 2 pi which is equal to 5 by pi t1 is equal to 1 by f1 which is equal to pi by 5 ok this much this is the time period of the first signal then we have x 2t the second part just focus on this part ok 2 cos 5t minus 2 ok minus 2 sorry this is and here if we compare it with b cos omega 2t plus phi 2 then here omega 2 is equal to 5 that implies 2 pi f2 is equal to 5 that implies f2 is equal to 5 pi 2 pi that implies t2 is equal to 1 by f2 is equal to 2 pi by 5 seconds this much ok now the first condition to determine whether the resultant signal the sum of two signals is periodic is that the ratio of the two time periods it should be a rational number so here t1 by t2 is equal to pi by 5 by 2 pi by 5 so it is 1 by 2 1 by 2 which is a rational number so as the ratio of the two time periods it is a rational number the given signal resultant signal the sum of two signals is periodic x1 t plus x2 t and the resultant time period is equal to t2 or equal to 2 t1 through cross multiplication because the second condition the resultant time period if it is expressed as p by q the resultant time period can be obtained through cross multiplication as q t1 or p t2 either way it is correct so here it is 2 t1 which is equal to how much 2 pi by 5 seconds that is the resultant time period 2 pi by 5 seconds okay